Yo, what's up? Stair Dragon Gravity here with another deck profile from Locals. The question is, is this a Wiseman deck or a Fenrir deck? Which is it? Comment down below. And for starters, we play Fetter of Leather Lading. Um, it helps set up your Wiseman plays. It gets you units out for free. I mean, you could play the other one, which I have here. There's this starter. It's uh, what it does is when you rest a unit due to revelation, you can move it in Solon's. Uh, or when this unit's rested, you can give another of your units plus two, so you can continuously uh, give power, and then you can move it in Sol if you drive check a normal unit and draw a card. But I just don't think it pluses you enough. I think the better starter is Lady because it sets up your plays. And then triggers we play for stake fitter fitty. Um, again, draw power, completely necessary. You need to be able to get your hand back, and it also gets a couple more cards in your soul for your loop at the end of the game. But, uh, I mean, you play Fenrir, so why would you, why not play the crit? And it's shiny, I mean. And then we play two Kakuri Himes. Um, the plus three, again, is super, super irrelevant, but the fact that she can go in the soul for no cost just helps you get the one more card uh, for the Wiseman loop or for other shenanigans that you want to do. And... <laughs> the thing that makes everybody angry, Goddess of Sound Sleep Taro. Um, this is the bane of everyone's existence when this loop came out. This creates such synergy with the deck. I mean, to think a card from BT14 can create such synergy with Generation Break things is, is ridiculous. Like I said, when she's soul blasted out of the soul, you can move her to the bottom of the deck and stand a rear guard. So if you have the, the point is you soul blast through with Wiseman, she comes out, goes to the bottom, stands Wiseman, Wiseman attacks again. You've already given him all that power from your Gelgias and things like that, so it's just, it's disgusting. <laughs> and then two Dreaming Dragons. Um, if you don't already know, the Genesis Clan, just like Dark Regulars, have a big issue with uh, decking out because they overextend so much. This helps you fix that. When you have 10 or more cards in your drop zone, you can put this on top of the deck, shuffle the deck, or shuffle the drop zone into the deck and draw cards. So helps you fix your setup. And then four heals because we have amazing G Guardians and it's a ringing rabbit. I don't have to say anything else. Great ones. Play four stride fodders. This is a stride based deck. You can't win in this deck if you can't stride. Um, I've had some very uncomfortable games if I am stuck on wise man or if I can't stride. You just you have to play four stride fodders. It's it's too good not to. And then we play four perfect guards. So they want to listen to me. Uh, you play unflip PGs because we don't have any other good perfect guard. Uh, Cross fingers for uh, Revelation Perfect Guard being decent <laughs> in two sets, but uh, you really need the, the unflip for the, the Wiseman loop to work. So, And then we get into the quote-unquote loop engine of the deck. We play four Shackle Fetter Gelgia. Um, this is the bread and butter of the loop. This is the only reason why Wiseman is as effective as he is. Um, if you don't know what he does, you can move him from soul. You can move him to the bottom of your deck. Stand a unit, again, irrelevant. Give a unit plus three, and then if you have a Fender or Vanguard, give another unit plus three. So the combo would be you put this on the bottom of the deck, give Wiseman plus three. Since you have Fender or Vanguard, give him another three. So it just enables a big push, and it helps you get through your deck faster very good card and he has revelation too so if you have to call it out it's not horrible and then two uh witch of oranges valencia i played this way back in minerva days um because it would help set up her ability but i think this is a much better suited for it because you can uh you can help burn through the deck and uh go through your wise men loop so it's a really great great one and then grade twos we play three of the amber clone on a piece of bladder glaive here helps you get the draw power um another big issue with this deck is you don't get a lot of hand early so as soon as you stride once if you can get this on board it helps you soul charge and just get your hand back because you use a lot of hand to keep uh the loop going way too many resources and then which of grape scrappa again a very important card in the loop um just like the grade one helps you set up the uh the soul 
And then Battle Maiden Kotonoha, uh, another of your grade two revelation targets. If you guys know what Dorian the Thruster does, she gets plus, uh, she's basically the same thing. Uh, she gets plus one every time you move a card in the soul. And then if a card's put in the soul due to a revelation effect, you get another plus one. So it's really good on your wise man turns, um, just because you're gonna burn through the deck so quickly, she gets big, so you have another big column to go off of. So really amazing card. And then our last grade two is Boulder Fetter Gill. Um, another draw engine. What he does is uh, you can counter boss one when he's called Soul Blast 3 and draw a card when he attacks. So it just helps you get the hand set up and he has revelation. And then grade threes, we play four Mythic Beast Fenrir, um, heart and soul of the deck. Uh, you need this to be able to set your plays off to get your wise men's out. Um, his generation break two I've even used to give him the glory crit effect. It's really nice. Um, the only downside to this card is when you stride, you have to soul charge three. It's not a choice. So I put myself in situations where I burn through the deck too quick and then this can this can really hurt you, but it's G Brick 2 kind of makes up for that. And then the card that makes everybody salty as soon as they see it in my soul is Angelic Wiseman. Um, if you don't already know what he does, when he attacks, he soul blasts three and gets plus four thousand. Now the soul blast or the plus four is completely irrelevant. The only thing you want is the soul blast because you there's a stand trigger, I'll show you guys in a minute, but when you it's soul blasted. It goes to the bottom of the deck and stands wise men. So you can loop wise men almost indefinitely. And then for strides, we play. Go with the Cray Elementals first. We play Sabris. Just for that early game, if they get grade stuck or whatever, um, this deck cannot function at grade two. This deck cannot function if it cannot stride. So you have to be able to uh, stride as much as possible. And then one Blizza um, for the late game. Uh, just to get a big number because I stride so often, uh, just for a big number at the end. I very, very, very rarely go into it. And then we have Doombrace. Um, again, I don't ever go into him. We got a great stride in the past Fighters collection that I'll go over in a minute, but uh, I mean, if I can get a big field off early, if I can get a lot of units out, I'll typically go into him just because the plus five is really nice on two units. Fixes your columns. And another reason why the loop is so good, uh, Beast Slayer Military Deity Tier, what he does is Soul Blast 3. Whenever you drive check a normal unit, you can Soul Charge 3. So kind of, um, it creates a lot of combos with Kota Noha because she gets plus one every time you Soul Charge. It just, it creates so much synergy with the deck. So uh, play two, it's, it's too good not to. And then we have four. Yeah, that's always good. Mythical Destroyer Beast Venaragund. Um, if you don't know what he does, when you attack, you still last six, check top four, decide where to put them. So this sets up your triggers, sets up cards that you want in your hand. Multiple times I've seen perfect cards and I'll leave them on top just so I can get them in my hand because I know I'm not killing them this turn. So it just it's a huge play. You can win on this stride very often. And last stride, two mythical health sky beast Fenrir. Um, what he does is he changes all your revelation effects to check the top two cards and decide where to put them. So it just creates really good synergy with everything else in the deck. Um, he helps you get to your through the deck faster because you can counter boss one, so boss three, and draw a card, or you can give plus three to you and it, unit and himself. So again, it helps you power up your wise man's things like that. Really amazing card. And then G guards, we play three. Goddess of Seven Color Iris. Uh, this is the best G Guardian the entire deck. No questions asked. Probably the best G Guardian that we've gotten in Fighters Collection, I think. Soul Charger, uh, you know, combo parts, everything. It's great. And then last two cards, we have one Dismal for uh, Kagero and um, Dimension Police, Commander Laurel, things like that. And then one Honda Suzuki. What she does is when there is a copy of a unit on your board in the soul, you can get plus 10 to her shield. So it just sets up really well.